One Piece Chapter 1116 Spoilers were expected to continue focusing on Dr. Vegapunk's message regarding details of the Void Century, especially given how revelatory the series has been lately. While this series did lead to some exciting reveals, it wasn't quite in the vein of what recent issues have given fans information-wise. Instead, One Piece Chapter 1116 spoilers largely focused on the here and now, showing how the situation at Egghead Island is beginning to swing back into the Garose's favor. Fans also saw Dr. Vegapunk call out Gal D. Roger and his crew, accusing them of doing nothing despite learning these truths themselves at the end of the Grand Line. One Piece Chapter 1116 spoilers begin immediately with the issue's story content, skipping over the title of the issue and the presumed cover story. The cover story most likely is a continuation of Yamato's pilgrimage across Wano. While these details aren't mentioned in these initial spoilers, more detailed leaks later in the week should confirm this info. The issue's story content begins with people all over the world shown to be reacting to Dr. Vegapunk's discussion of the Void Century War. They're specifically questioning how it can still be going on if the participants are no longer alive after 800 years. As if answering this question, focus then shifts to Maria Joy, where a presumably still silhouetted Amu is seen looking at a picture of a woman who is very similar to VVD Nefertari. While One Piece Chapter 1116 spoilers don't claim this, it's likely that the woman in the photo is Nefertari D. Lily, who has been teased as Imu's longtime enemy from the Void Century. As if to further suggest this, Focus then allegedly shifts to Alabasta, where its citizens are seen reacting to Vivi's missing poster following the events of the Reverie. Dr. Vegapunk then allegedly claims a portion of the Mother Flame was stolen from him and used to fuel an ancient weapon. In turn, this implicitly confirms that Amu is in possession of Uranus, and is the weapon which destroyed Luluja that he and the Garose referred to as the Mother Flame. One Piece Chapter 1116 spoilers then allegedly see Vegapunk Edison and Stussy discussing this revelation, with no details of their conversation given in these initial spoilers. This could suggest that what they have to say is significant enough that leakers are choosing to wait until later on in the spoiler process to reveal it. In any case, Vegapunk York is then shown shocked to learn that Dr. Vegapunk knows she stole the Mother Flame. However, she somehow also figures out the location of the transmission transponder snail in the process, calling the Garose to her location so they can destroy it and she can become a celestial dragon. One Piece Chapter 1116 Spoilers C Drive Vegapunk's message continue in the meantime, revealing that there are many mysteries on the Void Century, but one group learned the full truth. He reveals this to be Gal D. Roger and his crew, but ridicules them for not doing anything about it in the process. The issue ends with Silver's Rayleigh being shown in Sabayati, asking Roger if old people like him and Dr. Vegapunk shouldn't ruin the fun of today's young pirates.